Hello friends, it's me. Today is Darman Monday. We're gonna be watching another video where a kid gets bullied. So, are you going to Miley's party? Of course. You know I've had a crush on her since like fourth grade. You had a crush on her since fourth grade? My guy still looks like he's in fourth grade. I don't know what I'm gonna wear though. You should be worried about your shoes more than anything. Those are busted. <laughs> Get the jokes, huh? He got the white Air Forces. All you gotta do is grab a toothbrush and scrub them. It's not that hard. Oh. Hey, what the heck, Eddie? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Ryan. Do you know I meant she's Jay Scott's bro? A lot more than those crappy Air Forces on your feet. Yeah, those look like trap. You're lucky you didn't scuff my shoes. I wouldn't be so nice. <laughs> you know, we're gonna walk through this huge empty hallway. The only thing standing in my way is this guy's brand new shoes. Mm, he did that on purpose. Step on other man's shoes to assert dominance. You good, bro? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Should probably get some new sneakers before Miley's party. 80. Five, ninety, hundred. I need 120 more to get the new pair of J's. Why do you need that much money to get shoes? Get some Converse. Why don't you just ask your mom for some? Wow. Looks like someone can start paying some of the bills around here. Well, well, well. If it isn't the mother whose car broke down and needed rent money. You want her to buy you some $200 J's? Mom? She everybody's mom. Do you love me? Hmm. Not enough to do whatever it is you're about to ask for. Dang, can't get new shoes and his mom doesn't love him. Double homicide. What is it, honey? The new Jordans. Can I get them so that I can go to Miley's party with them on? Please, please, please. I have $100 to put toward them. <laughs> you're not spending all of your savings on a pair of sneakers. It's like, that's the worst idea ever. Absolutely not. Y'all be doing way too much to flex. At school? Mm -mm. Another pair of sneakers, Jeremy? What is it with the guys in this house? It's like you guys are sneaker crazy. Sneakerheads, mom. <laughs> Plus, you know I have my own business. Hey, those are the new Jordans? Yes, sir. The new Nike Chili Reds in size nine. Sick, right? Your brother is a sneakerhead. He has hella shoes. Why don't you just borrow one of his? Is he that stingy? He's not gonna let his little brother borrow one of his shoes. I can fend those. I know. Hey, bro. Do you mind if I borrow those for a party? No. Please. No. Please. No. No way. These are brand new. I'm not going to do anything to them. They brand new shoes? Yeah. Shoes are meant to be worn. Y'all just be putting them on a shelf, stare at them. I don't understand. Here, I'll even give you $100. <laughs> These cost me two fifty, bro. Absolutely not. Keep saving up your money. When you get a little bit older, I'll add you to my sneaker resale hustle. Okay? That way, you can rock some fresh kicks and make some money while doing so, like me. And I would look so sick with those on at the party. Everyone would go crazy. Y'all like twelve years old. Nobody's gonna even care or know what they are. Are they? I mean, isn't there some other pair of sneakers you can wear? Do people oh. really care? If I showed you what I have, you'd see why I wear these every day. Ain't nothing wrong with those. Show up in some sock sandals. Body slam anybody who has a problem. Dude, that fit is fire. Yup. What shoes am I gonna wear with it though? Well, I don't know. Those are pretty bad. Where should we even get them? My mom says since I'm growing so fast, there's no point in spending money on nice shoes. Dad? actually makes sense. Yeah, that is true. It's like if your feet keep growing, just keep the same pair of shoes. When I was growing up, we would get one pair of shoes a year. Go to Walmart, do some back to school shopping. If we lucky, we go to the famous footwear. Wear your Air Forces. Nah, man. Can't do that. Who you laughed at? Plus, what will Miley think? You should want people to like you for who you are, not what you have. Have you tried telling a joke or two? Maybe growing a personality? Nobody cares what you're wearing or what you look like if you're funny. Like, if people only care about how you look or what you wear or how much money you have, they don't care about you. They care about if the fit fire or not. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'll just ask Jeremy one more time to borrow his. Come on. Bro resell sneakers for a living. You can't let your little brother borrow one of the hundreds of shoes that you have just sitting there for one night. Hey, Jeremy, he's not in here. That's embarrassing. I would have just stolen them. Damn, he could open up his own shoe store. Yup. Yup, that's his plan. You know, maybe if I just quickly... Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Hmm? Oh, you were looking for Jeremy? 
Well, you we just missed him. You looking for your brother in the shoebox? Not realistic. Mother would not care. You in your brother's room? Okay. Now hurry up and get out of his room. You know how mad he gets when anyone is in it. Yeah. Coming. They acting like he beats his mom if she goes in there to do laundry. If he's not coming back till tomorrow, just take them. He wouldn't mind. No, no way, man. All right. Sorry, dumb man. I'm gonna have to agree with the villain. If he got enough sneakers to open up a shop, he has to have something else in your size. Like, just take it. Take a used pair. It completes the fit. It's fire. Yeah, but Jeremy's gonna find out. He sells Those shoes. Those are so for ugly. Living. So, I'm just clean them before I put them back. He won't know. If you know how to clean them, why don't you clean your dusty, musty Air Forces? Guaranteed. Whatever you say, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get so fire. Looks. Miley's gonna be so impressed. Miley's not gonna care. I didn't even know what those are. You think Miley's gonna know what those are? This place is sick. You should probably have my birthday here next month. Yeah. Oh, hey, Miley. Happy birthday. Hey Theo. Hey Eddie. Whoa, those are so cool. Thanks. Just got him. Umbra hooked me up. <laughs> yeah, like the first thing she gonna notice. Are those the new chili reds? Yeah. <laughs> no way. You like them? Those are awesome. Yeah, life of the party. We're at an arcade and yet everybody is just oogling his shoes in the dark. What's going on over there? He'll gather around <laughs> the awkward silence Are afterwards. Y'all yeah. gonna play some games or not? Nah? No, he's got a fresh pair of J's, look. And he's the talk of the town. Looks like somebody finally got an upgrade. It's about time. Are those J's even real? Hey, leave oh. him alone, Ryan. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised if he bought knockoffs. Oh, just ignore yeah. them. They're real. You sure yours are? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I got the receipt. I'll show you. Just Uno yeah. reversed yeah. him. No one cares about your busted J's. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Oh! I guess now we're even. Dude, what the heck? You scuffed my shoes. Why would you do that? Get out of here. Fine. <laughs> this party sucks anyway. Get out of here like you own the arcade. I mean, to be fair, you did scuff his shoes. A scuff for a scuff. I first should have invited him. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not coming off. I'm dead. Hey, hey. Nah, I got a toothbrush. Okay, right? We're all gonna sort this out. Magic eraser. Let's just play Mortal Kombat. Oh no, now I can't enjoy the parties because I have a little scuff on my shoe. No, we're not playing Mortal Kombat. This is an emergency. We have to go. Sorry. Are you sure this is what it said to do? It's not coming off. Y'all stressed out that much to show up to the party for five minutes. Get a few compliments. Get your shoe stepped on. And then now you're going home. What a waste of time. <laughs> it's only making it worse, Theo. I don't know what to tell you, all right? Maybe you should just tell Jeremy. I warned you this was a bad idea. No, first he'd kill me. My mom would kill me, okay? There's gotta be something I can do. I can't believe Ryan called your J's fake. I mean, his are probably fake. That's it? I'll replace these with fakes. Oh my god, this is the worst idea ever. So you're gonna go on wish.com. You gonna wait like six to eight weeks for some fakes to ship in from China of a shoe that just came out? That's literally the worst idea I ever heard. E Eddie, come on, you can't be serious. Where are you gonna get fakes from? Something. I have a hundred bucks. Nah, no keep idea. scrubbing. People sell them all the time. This is the worst idea ever. I mean, Jeremy's gonna find out. He does this for a living. He already knows the real shoes are in there. Who will suspect a thing. Here, you clean those, you clean the laptop too. Don't tell me he gonna get some new ones off Amazon. Fakes look pretty real, huh? No, dark man, y'all can't be doing a fake script like this. This is becoming very unrealistic. Yeah, I mean. I can't tell the difference, but that doesn't mean Jeremy won't be able to. If you could order those shoes, Amazon Prime, the next morning, then why didn't you do that in the first place? You had $100, why didn't you buy them? I think he got ripped off or something. All right, well, I'm not sticking around for this. Good luck, and I hope you make the right decision. What do you mean the right decision? What are you gonna do with other shoes? You know, I bet they're gonna do some plot twist like, oh, I left those on the bed because I knew you would steal them. I knew you was a little thief. What are you doing in my room? Oh no. Shoe inspection time. Let's see it. Pull it out. Yeah. Sniff it too. To make sure you didn't wear them. Of course not. I heard you loud and clear the first time. All right, well, get out of my room. Some new sneakers are dropping and I need to go get them. Why don't you come with me? 
This be a good intro to the sneaker business. All right, I guess. So I bought these for 200 and I'll probably sell them for three. Wow, I can't believe you make 100 bucks that fast. Sometimes even more. But let me... Hello? You here? Okay. Cool. See you soon. Who was that? The guy I'm selling the shoes to. You already sold those? No. No, I am selling these from yesterday. You're selling those? Yeah, they're super hot right now. Everybody wants them. Made a buck 15 a day. Crazy, right? I don't think you should sell those. Why not? Because they're nice. I think you should keep them. <laughs> Bro, this is business. And besides, I think this is the perfect opportunity for you to see the process. Perfect opportunity for you to learn your darn man lesson. So you see. You Jeremy? Yep, you butch, right? Let me see the box. Eh, freak. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you asking for these? 400. Big markup. Much of a markup? Are you kidding me? Have you seen how much Yeezys used to resell for? These are the hottest shoe and everybody wants them. $150 markup ain't nothing. You mind if we talk outside? There's a lot of people out here and it's a lot of cash. Uh, sure. I refuse to buy things over retail. Okay, I don't think that's a good idea. Just I feel like I'm getting scammed. Up, be fine. Come on. I don't know if I feel safe pulling out $400. To an alleyway. Yeah, that's much safer. Good job. You know, I must say, you got a lot of nerve. What are you talking about? The real Jordan logo is deeply embedded into the shoe. See the bottom? Oh, he the knows. The real retro Chili Nine Reds have a bigger Jordan. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you trying to play dumb? These are fake. Look, man, I just got these from Nike. Save it. I could show you the receipt. I told you to save it. You've probably done this a bunch of times to a lot of guys, but decided to scam the wrong guy this time. You know, I really don't appreciate people wasting my time. In fact, it really makes me mad. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'll call Nike and figure it out. Maybe they mixed up the shoes during shipping or something. I've never sold a fake pair of Jordans before. Trust me. Ask any of my customers. That's because your customers are regular people and want to know how to spot a fake. Me? I'm the sneaker expert. <laughs> you must really play me for a fool, huh? Let him go. Let him go. <sighs> Please don't do this in front of my little brother. He needs to see what happens when people aren't honest. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. I took the sneakers, even though you told me not to. I took them, and I took them, I wore them to the party, and everything was going fine until this mean kid Ryan, he came and stepped on them, and then he got all ruined. And then I took the hundred dollars I had, and then I bought fakes with them so I could replace them. But I didn't think you'd notice. I didn't even think you'd sell them. I'm sorry, okay, this isn't his fault, it's mine. Your brother literally has a sneaker selling business. I didn't know you'd sell them. That ain't even his shoe size. Are you kidding me? I'm really sorry, okay? I really am. That was a real good story, kid. <laughs> but I'm not playing. You're dead meat. No! The only way I'm not gonna punch his lights out is if it weren't a real transaction. Lucky for you, it's not. This isn't real. Y'all knew. Nope. You see. So you when see. I came home early. So you, you see. When I checked the inside of the box, guess what I, I saw? I knew the whole time. No That's sneakers. why I put the shoes there. I knew you took him to the party. I decided instead of confronting you, I'll let you come clean. Of course you didn't. I knew those J's were fake the moment I saw them. So I called Butch and decided to teach you a lesson. Do people get beat up over fake shoes? Sounds legit. Like, they're just shoes. I told you you were gonna- I don't want to talk about it, all right? What happened to new J's? I hope they didn't get ruined. You know what, they actually did. I like my shoes, so leave me alone, Ryan. Or what are you gonna do about it? Cry? Oh, leave me alone, Ryan. Oops. You- you scratched my shoes! <laughs> I'm sorry, it was an accident. No! No! no. <laughs> it, it's not coming off! That was definitely an accident. Oh, leave me alone, Ryan! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the vans! It's like, what's the point of wearing expensive shoes at school? The like, accident or not, they're just gonna get scuffed. People are gonna like you for you, not the shoes you wear. Cause literally, no one cares. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.